The universe is vast, unimaginably vast. When we look up at the night sky we see just a tiny fraction of what's out there. The stars we see are only a small part of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Billions upon billions of stars populate our galaxy alone, each one potentially hosting its own system of planets. These stars, like our own sun, are scattered across the vast expanse of space, forming a cosmic tapestry that stretches beyond our imagination. The Milky Way is a spiral so grand it takes light, the fastest thing there is, 100,000 years to cross it. Imagine that, light, which travels at 186,000 miles per second, would take a hundred millennia to traverse our galaxy from one end to the other. And yet, ours is just one galaxy among billions upon billions more, each with its own unique structure and history. These galaxies are scattered across the universe like islands in a vast cosmic ocean, each one a potential cradle for life. Scattered across the universe like grains of sand on an infinite beach, these galaxies form clusters and superclusters, creating a web of matter that spans the cosmos. The sheer scale of it all is almost beyond comprehension. With so many stars, so many planets, the potential for life, even intelligent life, seems almost inevitable. Scientists have discovered thousands of exoplanets, some of which lie in the habitable zone of their parent stars, where conditions might be right for life to exist. Yet the cosmos remains eerily silent. Despite the vast number of stars and planets, we have yet to detect any signs of intelligent life. The silence is deafening and it raises profound questions about our place in the universe. We've listened for signals, searched for signs but found nothing. Where is everyone? Are we truly alone or are we simply not looking in the right way? The search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues but so far it has yielded no results. This is the Fermi Paradox, and at its heart lies a chilling possibility. The Great Filter. The Fermi Paradox questions why given the vast number of stars and potentially habitable planets, we have not yet found any evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Could it be that the universe is not silent, but rather a graveyard of civilizations that rose and fell before they could reach out across the stars? The Great Filter suggests that there may be a stage in the development of life that is incredibly difficult to surpass, and that most civilizations fail to make it past this point. Is there some insurmountable obstacle, some universal challenge that prevents intelligent life from reaching its full potential, from becoming truly cosmic? As we continue to explore the cosmos we must also reflect on our own future and the challenges we may face. The answers to these questions could determine the fate of our own civilization. The Great Filter is a theoretical concept but one with profound implications. It suggests that there are stages, filters, that life must pass through on its journey from simple single-celled organisms to a space-faring, interstellar civilization. Some filters are easy, some are difficult, and some may be nearly impossible to overcome. The question that haunts us is this, where is the Great Filter in the grand timeline of life? Is it behind us, a testament to the incredible odds we've already overcome? Or does it lie ahead? a formidable barrier that may spell our doom. The answer, should we ever find it, holds the key to our future. It tells us whether we are on the cusp of a glorious cosmic dawn, or standing on the precipice of oblivion. Some scientists believe that the Great Filter is behind us. This concept suggests that the most challenging steps in the evolution of life have already been overcome. From the formation of the first simple cells to the development of complex multicellular organisms, each stage was a monumental leap forward. They point to the incredibly long and complex journey life on Earth took to reach its current state. The Earth has undergone dramatic transformations, from a molten ball of rock to a planet teeming with life. Each geological era brought new challenges and opportunities, shaping the path of evolution. Billions of years of evolution, chance encounters and mass extinctions were all necessary for our existence. The impact of asteroids, the shifting of continents, and the changing climate all played crucial roles in the development of life. These events, while catastrophic, also paved the way for new forms of life to emerge and thrive. Perhaps they argue, intelligent life is incredibly rare, a fluke of cosmic proportions that we are lucky enough to embody. The conditions that allowed for the rise of human intelligence may be so unique that they are unlikely to be replicated elsewhere in the universe. If this is true, it has profound implications. It means that we, as a species, hold a unique position in the cosmos. Our intelligence and technological capabilities give us the potential to explore and understand the universe in ways that no other known life form can. It means we are among the first, if not the very first species, to achieve such complexity, such potential. Our advancements in science and technology have opened up possibilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. We stand on the brink of becoming a spacefaring civilization, capable of reaching out to the stars. The galaxy, the universe, is ours to explore, to shape, to leave our mark upon, 
The vastness of space offers endless opportunities for discovery and adventure. Each new planet, each distant star holds the promise of new knowledge and new horizons. Yet even if the great filter is behind us, it doesn't mean we are safe. The universe is a dynamic and often hostile place. Asteroids, supernovae and other cosmic events pose constant threats to our existence. The universe is full of dangers, both known and unknown. Black holes, gamma ray bursts and other phenomena could have devastating effects on our planet. We must remain vigilant and continue to advance our understanding of the cosmos to protect ourselves. And the greatest threat, as we are all too aware, may be ourselves. Our actions have a profound impact on the environment and the future of our planet. Climate change, pollution and other human activities pose significant risks to our survival. It is up to us to ensure that we do not become our own great filter. The possibility that the great filter lies ahead is perhaps the most unsettling. It suggests that there is some as yet unidentified challenge, some hurdle that civilizations like ours inevitably face and fail to overcome. What could this filter be? We can only speculate. It could be a technological hurdle, a discovery so powerful, so tempting, that it inevitably leads to self-destruction. Or perhaps it's a limitation of our own biology, a flaw in our very nature that makes us incapable of sustaining a long-term, interstellar civilization. Whatever form it takes, the filter ahead serves as a stark warning. It reminds us that our intelligence, our technological prowess, is not a guarantee of survival. It is, in fact, a double-edged sword. The Universally Present Filter Some theorists propose that the Great Filter is not a single event but rather a constant pressure, a universal truth about the nature of life and intelligence. Perhaps they argue, all civilizations are inherently self-destructive, driven by greed, ambition, or simply a lack of foresight. This view is bleak, but not without merit. We see evidence of this tendency towards self-destruction in our own history, in the countless wars, environmental disasters and social injustices we inflict upon ourselves and our planet. If the filter is truly ever-present, then our survival depends on our ability to recognize and overcome these self-destructive tendencies. It demands that we evolve not just technologically but morally and ethically as well. Cosmic Threats to Our Existence the universe itself is a dangerous place. Asteroids, comets, gamma ray bursts, supernovae, these are just a few of the cosmic threats that could wipe out life on Earth in an instant. We are incredibly vulnerable, a cosmic afterthought clinging to a fragile ball of rock hurtling through the vast emptiness of space. And then, there are the unknowns. What lurks in the hearts of black holes? What happens when galaxies collide? Are there other, more exotic dangers out there, threats we haven't even begun to imagine? We cannot ignore these threats, but neither should we cower from them. Our best chance for survival lies in understanding these dangers, in developing the technology and the wisdom to protect ourselves. Our self-inflicted wounds, AI, nuclear war, climate change. While cosmic threats are a real concern, the most immediate dangers to our survival are of our own making. Artificial intelligence, while holding great promise, also carries the risk of surpassing and potentially turning against its creators. Nuclear weapons, a horrifying legacy of the 20th century, still cast a long shadow over our world, a constant reminder of our capacity for self-destruction. And climate change, driven by our insatiable appetite for energy, threatens to make our planet uninhabitable. These are not challenges for future generations to face, but for us, here and now. They demand our immediate attention, our collective will, and our unwavering commitment to finding solutions. Our future, our very survival depends on our ability to confront these challenges head-on, and emerge stronger, wiser, and more united as a species. A future beyond the filter, the promise of Type 3. If we can navigate these perilous times, a future of unimaginable potential awaits. The challenges we face today, from climate change to geopolitical tensions, are but stepping stones on the path to a grander destiny. Our ability to overcome these obstacles will determine whether we can unlock the next chapter of human evolution. We could become a multi-planetary species, colonizing other worlds, safeguarding our future against any single planetary threat. Imagine the possibilities, cities on Mars, colonies on moons of Jupiter and Saturn, and even outposts in the asteroid belt. Each new world would offer unique challenges and opportunities, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and resilience. We could unlock the secrets of the universe, harnessing the power of stars, bending the very fabric of space-time to our will. The energy of entire stars could be at our disposal, enabling technologies that today exist only in the realm of science fiction. Wormholes could become the highways of the cosmos, connecting distant parts of the galaxy in the blink of an eye. Imagine a future where humanity has reached Type 3 on the Kardashev scale, 
a civilization that has mastered the energy output of its entire galaxy. This would be a society capable of feats that are currently beyond our comprehension, such as moving entire planets, creating artificial stars, and even manipulating the structure of the galaxy itself. Such a civilization would be virtually indistinguishable from magic to our eyes, capable of feats beyond our wildest dreams. The technology at their disposal would be so advanced that it would seem like sorcery, enabling them to achieve what we might now consider impossible. This is the potential that lies dormant within us, the promise of a future where humanity takes its rightful place among the stars. The journey to this future will be long and arduous requiring not just technological advancements, but also a fundamental shift in how we view ourselves and our place in the universe. But it is a future we must earn, not through conquest or dominance, but through cooperation, innovation, and a deep understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit. Only by working together, pooling our collective knowledge and resources, can we hope to achieve this grand vision. It is a future that calls for unity, compassion, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. The choice is ours. The Great Filter is a sobering concept. It reminds us of the fragility of life, the countless ways in which civilizations can fail. But it is not a foregone conclusion. We have the power to choose our own destiny, to shape our own future. Will we fall victim to the same traps that may have ensnared countless civilizations before us, succumbing to our own worst impulses? Or will we rise to the challenge, overcoming our limitations and claiming our birthright as citizens of the cosmos? The answer, my friends, is not written in the stars, but in our hearts and minds. A call to action, our cosmic legacy. We stand at a crossroads in human history, a pivotal moment that will determine the fate of our species. The challenges we face are immense, but so too is our potential. Now is not the time for despair, nor for complacency. Now is the time for action, for courage, for a renewed sense of purpose. Let us embrace the wonders of science and technology not as tools of destruction, but as instruments of progress and enlightenment. Let us foster compassion and understanding, recognizing our shared humanity and our responsibility to each other and to our planet. The universe is calling. Will we answer?